Welcome to Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we're starting out with Navi. Five minute wait. Loving it. So we'll do Navi River, then the plan is Kilimanjaro Safari. But today, since we have some folks with us that haven't done a lot of shows, we'll probably hit like the Lion King Festival, the Lion King, uh, Feathers and Friends in Flight, and maybe the Nemo show. We'll see how the day goes, but that's the plan right now. And I don't do those a lot either, so, and I love Feathers and Friends in Flight. That show's so much fun. <laughs> But this is the closest I've ever seen her. Yeah, so this cotton top tamarind's quite the hit. Hey, um, that line on Navi River was nothing. I don't understand why people run straight to Pandora and it's like a 60 minute line because of the hotel guests. I mean, we rope dropped and went straight to Navi, walk on. We're gonna head over to uh, Kilimanjaro Safari. It was 10 minutes. The longer we wait here though, the bigger it's gonna get over there. So hopefully I can get these two going. <laughs> Amazing, 10 minutes on the safari. They're back. Oh Sometimes my gosh. Sometimes dropping down to their knees yeah. to get a better look. He's cute. On the left and right zebra. is the Hartman. To your left is the Warthog. They are the largest burrowing animal. They are known to reuse the burrow. So as I've said many times, that safari is so amazing. Uh, today, oh man, I shut my video off right before they did it, but the, but the um, rhinos started, no, excuse me, the hippos, they started um, making some incredible noises. And then we saw the warthogs. The warthogs are hardly ever out. So like I said, many times, the ride, you never know what you're gonna get. It's different every time. I just love it. So now we're doing the Grill of Falls Trail, just trying to look for some more interesting things over here. It's great, it's right by the ride. It's so, it's so casual, nice to do. These guys are having fun on the waterfall. That's awesome. So cool. And you got these guys up here in their nest. Again on these trails, you never know what you're gonna get. We got the hippo front and center. That's awesome, and he's getting a little cleaning job over there by the fish. Okay guys, this is the first time I've seen the babies off on their own, running around. So cool. Usually they're on mama's back. Wow, so cool. <clears throat> They found their spot again, back on Mama. That's the first time I've seen them out running around on their own. So cool. Wow. Amazing. Wow, love it. Got the tree of life behind us here. And those cotton top tamarind babies running around. Oh my goodness, that was so cute. First time I've seen them running around, amazing. And they've grown so fast. And the Galapagos tortoises. You guys, these are parts of the park that a lot of people don't come and see right here. So under the tree of life we go. Cool, look at that thing. In the back. Yes. All right, so she's gonna figure out what's the best route to get up there to navigate through. I love the confidence of everybody moving out of the way. And look at that! Very cool, right? 
What's your name? Gabriella. Gabriella, Gabby for short. And like I said, they lived in a home for a long time. So Feathered Friends in Flight, that's a great show. Although a couple of things, they didn't do the chickens at the beginning and they didn't do the uh, dollar bill where the bird goes and gets the dollar bill. Not sure why. I don't know if they canceled that part out of the show or if they just didn't do it today. But uh, great show, love that show. And right now we're gonna do another trek. We're gonna do the Maharaja Jungle Trek. That's kinda cool. These guys hanging out in the water down here. I believe those are water buffalo. Of course, hanging in the water. <laughs> nice and cool, I bet. Well, we got to see the tigers, but they were pretty well hidden, relaxed, and hiding out of the sun. Princess was sleeping. Princess was sleeping, and the male was uh, camouflaged in the bushes or the um, bamboo. Yeah. So I think we're going to see if every single rider line is crazy or not because. Ooh, how can you come here and not do Everest, right? Right? Right. <laughs> Triceratops spin just to kill a few minutes before we go on Nemo. Let's do it. And that's the spin, folks. Oh, yeah, we'll go up and forward and back. And oh, where did Donald go? He left. Whoa. Oh. Hey. So we're joining the 12 o'clock Nemo show. The cool thing about hitting this in the middle of the day is it's AC super nice. The Marine Life Institute houses many aquatic species, including fish from the wild who need our help. Like the group we found in the bay, floating in plastic bags. For these, we remember the three R's. Rescue, rehabilitate, and...
at the Disney Springs AMC theaters and we're going to see Sound of Freedom. Looking forward to it. So they have a bar area where you can actually have a drink. Definitely not in Utah anymore, that's for sure, huh? Got your hot foods over there. Wow, you got like all different kinds of pizza and everything. And then all your ices and all that good stuff. Hey you guys, the seating here is super nice. These are like luxury, luxury captain chairs, man. You like rock them back and super comfortable. Hey guys, wow. I don't even hardly know what to say. I can't understand why the media would say don't go see the movie. I mean, the movie was a, a great story about a terribly sad thing. It leaves you with a pit in your stomach, really. I mean, if anything, I think that people would be like, hey, you gotta go see Sound of Freedom. The story is awfully tough, but it's a story that has to be told. I can't believe that Disney had the rights to it and they didn't do it and they got rid of it and it took five years to get that movie produced. It's so crazy, but wow, go see it. Sound of Freedom, amazing. Hey, we were thinking about eating at like a quick service restaurant. We were gonna eat at Cook's, but it started raining and there were no tables. So we decided to come into Morimoto's. And Morimoto's. It's really cool in here. The railing kind of like does a little design here. It's really neat in here. With the upper level here and the, the kitchen all the way down there. Really nice, I like it. What do you think, Cassie? I like it. Yeah? And you don't you don't complain about sushi or noodles. Right? Never. <laughs> <laughs> so Cassie got some dumplings. They came in the little container and there they are. Voila. Nice. What dumplings are they? Beef. Beef? Sushi. Spicy tuna? How's that? Very good. What about the dumplings? They're amazing. Amazing? It One of the best dumplings good. you had, it's huh? really hot, but they're really good. They're like actual dumplings. <laughs> you got them fresh. Yeah. Nice. It's our fish with the Let's Go ahead and season it. What is this season with? That's going to be a yuzu kosher. It's more citrusy. It's like a lemon zest. Okay. So when I do go to sear, it's going to add a nice bite towards the end of the fish. Okay. Go ahead and start searing. Nice. All right, underneath here, we're going to have daikon radish, carrots, sesame spinach, and zenmai royal fern. Open up that center, drop that egg down. Let's get our vegetables in here as well. Sauce on the side is going to be a, it's going to be a ginger sesame soy. It's a gluten free bop sauce. I like to call it a magic sauce because it smells and tastes amazing. As that's going, I'm going to start mixing this up a little bit for you. How hot? Can you say that boiling? Uh, 450 to 500 degrees. Depends on how long it's been on the, on the flame for. Yeah. But usually it's at 450. Yeah. So back in 1999, Chef Morimoto invented a dish on Iron Chef Japan. And he used it to take home his third consecutive win. However, that was a rather controversial win for him that year because the judges didn't want to disqualify him for using this dish, as they thought he was making a bibimbap, which is a Korean style dish that normally uses a land animal rather than a hamachi elbow. Same concept is going to be a fried rice bowl. It uses a Szechuan sauce instead of a ginger sesame, normally making it more savory and spicy rather than savory and sweet like what we have in front of us. So the judges, however, could not disqualify him because although the dish seemed very similar to the bibimbap. Bop, it was not completely to a tee. So when they went for a bite, they fell in love and deemed him worthy of his previous two titles and then his third. Wow. Okay. So with this dish, you do get the best of both worlds when it comes to flavor and texture. One side is going to be sashimi, great for you. All right, and the other side is going to be seared a little bit of kochu, so it has a nice citrus bite. Nice. Sprinkle a little bit more of our bobsles on top of the nice. 
this. I'll leave some on the side. Enjoy and be very careful, okay? Great, thank you. You're welcome. Orange chicken. Now that half of it's gone. <laughs> I thought the food was really good in there. We all enjoyed our meal. It was definitely worthwhile. Um, and it's a little healthier than Cook's, you know, fried fish. <laughs> it was very enjoyable. And that does it for our day at Disney and Disney Springs and good food. Boy, I wish I got the band that we got over playing there, the blues. Um, they were fun. But anyways, thanks for joining us.